Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, my name is Koki Tanaka, and uh, I. I think I'm a. Uh, I I I, I'm called as an artist, but I always think that it's a bit uh, uh, strange for me in a way, because a um, uh, long time I thought that the artist has to have so, so, like certain skills, but for my case, I don't know what is my skill. Like I don't have any skill to paint something or. Uh, make sculpture or I don't know like so I don't have like such a like a specific skill so um, I always think that I'm doing sort of like a coordinating or organizing something so uh, in that sense I probably close to more like a, a curators in a way so um, uh, but uh, so I, I also need to probably think, uh, talk about like some uh, example of my work. So um, one, one of the projects that I did uh, before was the, uh, I invited the uh, five students, uh, pianists, to play the one piano together to document the, how they collaborate together to, uh, uh, to, to, to make some music. Um, and each one of them has like different background, like uh, some of them are jazz pianists, some of them are classic, uh, some of them are uh, improvisationist. So they have different idea of playing the piano. Uh, and uh, so it was uh, uh, difficult to do something together because they have different ideas of uh, playing piano. So I wanted to sort of like uh, uh, document this uh, uh, group dynamics and how uh, human interact each other. So um, that, that's the one, one of the, the, the project I, uh, yeah, I did before. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I actually had like all those like questions before, and uh, uh, I don't have much time to, <laughs> let's say, think further on like these things. And uh, this question, uh, uh, this particular question, I'm not really sure uh, in a way that I have like some core philosophy uh, of my practice, but uh, I can say that the, uh, 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 as I mentioned about the, uh, I'm doing like documenting human behavior, like human activities. Um, uh, in this sense, uh, uh, I think the failure is one of the way uh, I can always needs to uh, uh, look at because um, when people start to do some collaboration, of course, the collaboration sounds nice and it sounds like very positive, but uh, at the same time, uh, when the people get together, uh, there should be some sort of like a conflict. So there should be some difficulty. So um, I, uh, and sometimes they fail and I, uh, of course, it, the failure is also, uh, of course, a negative, uh, 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 negative term. But uh, at the same time, I feel like the it is one of the uh, one of the importance of the the uh, as a human because we fail a lot, but uh, once we fail, we learn a lot. So we like we we try. Uh, again and again, that's the kind of like a way, uh, uh, I think that's the important things that I always uh, keep uh, in, in my practice. So uh, I think the failure is one, one of the maybe core philosophy of my practice. Uh... One one of like, of course the um there was like many but I just only pick one artist 
with the Felix Gonzalez Torres. Um, I wrote uh, my first article when I uh, finishing art school uh, about the, uh, uh, his work. And uh, since then, I'm quite uh, like inspired by not only uh, him as a single artist, but also he he's uh, one one of the member of the group material. And uh, uh, I always uh, thinking about like how he uh, did the different project in his own work and also in the group material. Uh, and also compare with the even more like a, a, a activist group, the uh, ACT UP. So those three, uh, like uh, Felix Gonzalez Torres group material and ACT UP, uh, this line is kind of like uh, uh, one one of the one of the reference that I always uh, looking at because. Um, ACT UP, of course, it's a like a, a activist group, and group materials is, is in between, like it's act, like activism slash art, and the Felix Gonzalez Torres is, of course, it's a uh, uh, he's making art piece, but also political. So I like the way uh, compare with these three different uh, uh, like artists, artist collective, and activist group. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know, actually, um, because when I went to, like, I, I first went to the uh, Tokyo Zoke University, uh, which is the, uh, like, private art school, and then I went to Gedai for master degree, and when I went to Gedai, I was not really go to schools. <laughs> so I was um, I was also an editor around the time for art magazine uh, published by the Musashino Art University. So um, I was half uh, like uh, uh, working and half uh, doing student. So. Uh, I was, yeah, not really sure like what experience I had in Gedai, but uh, one one of the good things when I was in Gedai is the uh, 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 like after a few years I uh, working as the editor, then back to uh, like art school um, because um, I kind of like see. Uh, what what art education is and uh, uh, so it's like a, I had kind of like a meta point of view to see this like uh, to see the art, art education and what art school and what the teacher is <laughs> so all, all those questions uh, come up in my mind around the time and I think those like in between feeding, uh, like I'm in art school, but also a little bit outside of it. That's kind of like, uh, yeah, I think those experiences could be good for me to uh, not only uh, thinking about my career, but also uh, what these like art system, including this uh, art education, um, uh, uh, related to uh, uh, our art practice, I mean, the artist's art, uh, practice. For now, it's everything changed because of the, because of not only the COVID, but also uh, my newborn baby. Um, so um, she's one, she's almost two years. Old, uh, two years old now, so um, uh, everything has changed. But before, I'm actually not sure I had the kind of like a routine uh, uh, as an artist. Um, I was uh, I would probably try not to have like something that I always do. 
in a way. So I try to avoid kind of like a routine, uh, even uh, uh, before I, uh, I, I lived in Los Angeles, um, before 2019, I tried to also move to different places a lot, like uh, every two years or something. So, uh, like, because I was a bit, uh, 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 I was a bit afraid to be stuck in one spot, like not only about the, the place, but also uh, like my practice. I don't want to be recognized as like a video artist or a performance artist or something like that. So I try to be, I try to escape from one category to the other. So uh, I think that's, that's uh, uh, then probably this like escaping one category to the other is the probably the routine to uh, uh, like, like the thinking always is the kind of like a routine of uh, uh, my, yeah, my everyday probably. Like I try not to be as one thing so um but now it's changed so i um because i uh uh bring my kids to the nursery every morning so this uh 15 minutes to 30 minutes walking is becoming my of course it's a daily routine but also uh refreshing to think something like some new ideas or uh, idea for writing. So, um, and uh, because that's the only time that I have more like a free in a way, uh, like I have a space to think about. So this 15 minutes to 30 minutes time is the uh, becoming my daily routine to think about my ideas. Let's say it's not the, uh, um, no, I didn't think in that way when I was in art school. I mean, I, when I was in the uh, uh, University, like a long time, I was probably 20 to four or something like that. Um, I never, I mean, of course it, uh, I imagine that it might be really great that I can travel to other places to do some project or to have some shows. But uh, uh, I also wanted to do something locally. But uh, uh, when I get into the Japanese art scene around the time I was, that, that's the uh, 2000 to 2004 or something, um, I found that, that there was no space for me to do. So I need to find some place that I can show my work on my project. So that's the, that's the reason why I applied for some grants, some artist in residency program and other things to uh, go somewhere else. So if there is some place, some space in Japan, I probably just, yeah, doing in Japan, but there was no place for me. So that's the, that's the yeah, main reason I just, uh, yeah, I just go out Japan. <laughs> I, I had a, like, I, I remember that I, had a conversation with my friend when I was in art school that he was, he wanted to uh, participate like documenter or something. <laughs> and uh, uh, we were also talking about like documenter Venice monster. And uh, uh, we were somehow feels that the Venice is not the place for us. So we have to go maybe documenter or other places. But uh, I never thought that I can be like in some shows like those like big festivals, but yeah.
Venice, for me, around the time, I saw that uh, it, it was more for like market driven artists can be uh, shown in like the Japan Pavilion always showing some like uh, yeah, some artists that I don't really admire in a way. <laughs> and uh, 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 and Documenta or Monster is more uh, like a political artist uh, or like uh, uh, the, some artists more doing some something social. So, um, but uh, what I was doing around the time was quite, let's say, doing something small. Like I relate, like I I made some uh, uh, object uh, to use like daily uh daily object like toilet papers or uh some some snake toy or those things or something from like a uh like a 100 yen shop or hardware stores so everything is kind of like a like a uh things you can find like in your house or something. So I never thought that I can be, I can be artists that show in like larger, like art festivals or something. So I, I thought that maybe I can do something like small shows <laughs> or small group shows. Uh, yeah, so that's that's probably the reason why. Because when I, when I saw some like art magazines or whatever, uh, or some artist lecture, they always showing like a larger, like a larger painting or larger sculpture or some sort of like a spectacle uh, work. And I never saw that I can do something like that. I'm like uh, from the poor family. So it's yeah, compared with what they have like for production cost, I don't think I can do it. So that's the, yeah, that's the first feeling that I had when I get enter the, the art scene in Japan. Yeah, this is really difficult question because I don't, I think until, until, uh, un, until 2020, the, when the COVID, outbreak uh i never would say stop making artwork uh, or project um in that um in that sense i never saw that uh, like how i should maintain my art practice or like uh, my motivation like motivation is always there i don't know why but uh, uh 2020, that's the only year that I never produced any new piece. So I stopped making work. Uh, of course, I, I, was, uh, I was invited many shows around the time, um, but I never made any new piece. Um, uh, so last year, I, tr I, I tried to find a way uh, to restart my <laughs> Uh, 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 like uh, uh, restart to have my artistic motivation, um, uh, and one one of the I think one of the uh, uh, one thing that I realized that when I didn't make any work in 2020, I still writing something. Like I keep writing. Uh, uh city like I, I had a series of writing so i was writing about like my uh, uh uh parenting practice like mm -hmm. child care and compare with the my uh, like artistic practice before so i tried to bridge between um in a way totally different like one is like in a way like uh, more abstract because artistic artistic practices try to be 
abstract in a way because it needs to be a little bit uh, like uh, it, it needs to be a little bit like universal <laughs> to understand for many different people but the uh, everyday child care is concrete like uh, you, you you need to just focus on your child like uh, your child needs so um, it's kind of like a two uh, two different uh, things that I have uh, so then I try to find the bridge between these two uh, things in 2020 and I was really struggling about like how to find a way <laughs> um, and that's probably uh, that's that's the reason why I didn't make any new work but then I I, I somehow found that uh, they uh, uh, like I almost like drop out uh, to be as an artist so i like towards the end of uh, 2020 i was almost uh thinking about quitting as an artist um uh but when i uh uh writing keep writing about like this art practice and child care then i uh uh i find i found that the uh uh like how I can reform idea of like what I had before about the artist and now. So that's probably, um, yeah, it's a bit uh, uh, drifting from your, your question, but, uh, um, but uh, 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 I think the writing is somehow uh, 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 one one of the one one of the methodology that for me to uh, maintain my art practice, I guess. One of the reasons why I was uh, uh, I was using this historical background for the project is the uh, uh, I I wanted to. Uh, uh, like young people to discuss about the the situation like the political situation in Japan so i the the main protagonist of the project is the teenagers so they were um uh the staging the 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 crystal installation in the museum uh with the public the covering the uh the floor and also uh playing the basketball game together uh, uh, which was restaging the uh, uh, U.S. Army uh, put the basketball court in the museum uh, uh, under the occupation era. Um, so I, I tr uh, tried to not only looking back, but uh, uh, link to the, the, the current situation. And so I'm not really, let's say, just uh, 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 just finding the historical facts to make the layer uh, to produce the work because I I uh, rather uh, I used the, the historical background to uh, kind of like revitalize the uh, uh, current political debate with the, those teenagers. So that's that's the reason why I uh, yeah I, I found uh, I uh, reuse those historical uh, moments. Yeah, um, because the uh, uh, there was the discussion at the end about the war, and I uh, intervened at some point to. Uh, uh, because when when they start to discuss about the war, they were not really thinking about that, that they they might be uh, uh, involved like in the reality. So I just uh, uh, throw the question about um, because Japan uh, uh, 
the 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 government around time the conservative government around time they try to uh interpret the the japanese constitution to bend the idea of uh to having the army so um because right now we we uh in in japan uh we couldn't have the the real army even though there is a there is a sort of like army in japan anyway um so um i i i saw the question that uh, what if they can be involved in the war in the real situation how they can uh react to it um but uh, i also remember that uh, uh i say that uh because of the in, in, uh, international uh law uh there shouldn't be a, a invasion because the in, in the contemporary uh time uh all the country uh, uh shouldn't do any invasion to the uh, other country but right now in in uh ukraine uh in russia uh russia start to invade uh ukraine so i i i was really surprised <laughs> that, and the shock that the uh what year we are in uh because when when i did this uh project in 2015 i never thought that uh, in the future that uh, some country invades other country so this is really um um so my my uh vision around the time when i discussed with the teenager uh uh that was really um let's say uh idealistic still i thought that uh, i saw the realistic question but i didn't so um when i look back the work that i did in 2015 um even though i tried to uh brought uh the 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 real situation to the uh, with a teenager um but that was still in a way uh positive and realistic uh no positive and uh, idealistic uh uh questions to them so um for the uh the case in parasophia uh maybe because the director is quite radical um uh so that uh, uh yeah he actually really encouraged me to do any project so and uh, they i think they really like the idea to not only talking about the 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 current situation but also the history because um uh, people know that the uh, uh yusuke nakahara's uh uh, uh like uh historically important show was travel to kyoto uh that museum but um uh, there was not really uh let's say reveal to the public so um uh through my project i think uh uh they they also i mean the museum itself also uh like to uh publish the the uh some material and uh, uh but now the museum is uh renovate and reopen uh as a Kyo kyocera museum i think mm. kyoto kyocera museum and uh, um the the place i uh filmed was the like a uh, larger main gallery was uh uh uh, renovated uh, kind of like reformed and uh, uh even though they installed the the old uh right uh on on the ceiling um but the 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 feeling of the space is completely different so they changed the 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 door and other things so um it's already kind of like gone so it's only keeping my video work <laughs> um uh um yeah so uh in in uh um 
uh, political idea behind the project, uh, they don't really have any difficulty to do so. But Prosophia was supposed to uh, keep continue for a couple of editions, but uh, they, they couldn't. So, so uh, it, it was only one time. Um, actually, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, because when I was when I was in art school, I was uh, I was probably tried to avoid to be as a political or social artist in a way because um, I remember that uh, there was one show called Atopic Sites in two, uh, 1996. Um, uh, that's the kind of like a show uh, or invite many artists who are doing like a social practice, like Suzanne Lacey was there yeah. uh, and other uh, Japanese artists also there. And they, uh, some of them are also engaged on uh, political issue in Okinawa. But uh, uh, the show itself, uh, had uh, many difficulty because it was uh, uh, it was uh, organized by the uh, Tokyo city government. There was certain like uh, like uh, uh, censorship and th there was certain uh, communication problem. Uh, uh, so it's it's like. Uh, um, I think around the time, like 96 is the right after the, the, the uh, Hanshin earthquake and uh, 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 underground attack by the uh, Aum uh, religion, um, that was 95. So I think the Japanese art scene uh, around the time was becoming probably more political or or socially engaged but then because of this show was uh this show this large show had like a mini problem uh uh i guess that the audience or uh artists uh or people who are involved in the japanese art scene thought that uh, maybe uh if you're doing some political art or something it might be difficult to do so um, and I spent my time in art school from 96 to 2000 in uh, Zoke University. That was like really early time of my, uh, my, my career. So, um, and I think the, the, the feeling or atmosphere of the, the time that uh, you shouldn't do any political art or something. Um, so I was... Uh, not really sure um, uh, uh, about to making some political art. So that's the probably reason why I was doing some project with or uh, work with uh, daily objects, like uh, surrounded by me, like just uh, finding in my house or something. Um, so I was not have courage to do some political art around the time so or engaged with the political issue so i don't i so in 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 this sense i uh shouldn't otherwise the young artists or young students to uh to to do because um i yeah let's say i i fail around the time so i try to back to uh uh what i lost uh or what what i didn't uh, what i couldn't do around the time uh later on uh I, I think after uh, uh after this uh the march 11th the uh earthquake and tsunami and nuclear disaster in japan um i regret that i couldn't do any uh anything to relate to the contemporary uh, the the social issue before so i uh try to be back 
what I lost uh, uh, before. So um, if you are, I think, if you it uh, my if I can say the advice is if you just listen yourself, then uh, at some point you can be back to uh, what you have to do. So um, so any moment you can be maybe engaged with some social issue or political issue that you have to engage. So uh, yeah, you don't you don't need to like you, there is no pressure to do it. I guess. When you have a child, like it's like the the uh, like work, working situation is completely changed, right? Like uh, um, like if if the child is at home, it's difficult to focus something like writing or even meeting is difficult. So uh, we are always uh, struggling about the. Uh, finding the time to to do something about your work so um uh but it's kind of like difficult to share this uh, experience because i also imagine before that uh, it might come like something like this but i never saw something such like uh, such a hard situation is come so um uh, uh and this is a way um when the artist has child they were kind of like fading away from that scene and uh, i'm probably also similar that uh, i cannot let's say accept many invitations now also, it's difficult to travel, not only because of the COVID, but also this uh, childcare situation. So, um, uh, and the art scene itself is always like finding like a new, like something new. So they, um, the art scene is always like fast and they they need to something uh like a new generation like a new artists and new work so i don't really uh uh relate these ideas so um uh, even before when i had a child so but having a child it's it even more i realized that, that this is really not it's not really healthy <laughs> for uh, i think all of us and uh, now we were uh maybe finishing the COVID uh, pandemic so uh uh but these years like two years i think we were finally uh uh, uh looking at that the what 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 important of our life mm. so um and i think we should we shouldn't forget about this two years three years uh when we are at home to sometimes just do like a struggling about like your life and uh um and also the like uh, the the uh, empathy to the others, and this is the way I think we can we can because we all had uh, this collective uh, collective experience, and I I thought that in the very beginning this can be changed the world, but I think maybe I was uh, again too idealistic. But if like we can uh, rethink about this situation, maybe after two years or something, still when we remember the the moment of we were thinking about ourselves, our family, our community, or friends uh, in different places, I think the the 
so I'm not only talking about uh, uh, like art, art world, but also the world itself can be. Yeah, we we can we can still change. We can still going going back. Uh, uh, I mean, I I'm actually really disappointed about the uh, Ukraine invasion right now because uh, we thought that uh, those like like a war is uh, we somehow overcome, but uh, still there and the uh COVID is also like we we thought that the, we we never think about like something like pandemic happen <laughs> around, the, around the globe so i think these two uh pandemic and the war uh uh can can be the 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 trigger to uh uh Hopefully, it's, it can be the trigger to uh, change everything uh, and uh, things get better, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, because every time when I imagine the future, I realize that the, the, the vision I had is idealistic always. So I'm not really sure. But uh, I, I try to go back to the, my uh, core philosophy the failure because we always fail, but uh, we can try again. So that's the that's the good things that we can fail because once we fail, then we can try again.